Hey guys, welcome back. As you can see, uh, I have a little bit of time today, so I decided to break out the socket A and uh, see if we can get done with it. And I already checked out the HP socket A that I've got, and I think I need to do the same thing I did with this one to get it working because this is our KT3 Ultra. And when I got this board, it didn't work. And I started going through, and I just started replacing some of these capacitors here, and uh, it started working. And I was running it with a Athlon XP. And all of a sudden, everything stopped working. So I just threw in a Duron, and there's a Duron 750 in there right now, and uh, it started working. So apparently that Athlon XP CPU bit the dust. Uh, we've got a Giga RAM in there, and an FX5200. Windows XP Home is installed on here. And right now I'm running uh, Cinebench 2003, just to uh, you know, give it a quick stress test, make sure everything's going to work fine. And so far it seems to. Although, I mean, it is a pretty slow system right now with the 750 and the FX5200. But, you know, I do got a few games to install in here, so uh, we're going to check it out and see if it's, you know, see if it's even worth a shit uh, in the configuration that it's in now anyways. So, uh, as soon as I'm done running a stress test, I'm going to try to see if I can get this to cooperate with my capture card. And uh, we'll see what kind of games we can run on it. Alright, so it appears I'm definitely going to have to swap out the GPU. You can see we got some artifacting here. Sometimes it gets really crazy. Um, so, let me see what I got for AGP. I thought this was pretty much the best one I have. I may have something hiding in another system somewhere, so I'll have to go take a look. Alright, so for whatever reason, it's installing updates. Um, not even connected to the internet. But I did find a upgrade for the GPU. This is a... Uh, ATI X1650 Pro Radeon and or X1600 Pro one of those two and anyways uh, it's way overkill for the system with the CPU but it's what we're going to run with anyway so it uh, should prove to be pretty interesting alright got everything all set up here and uh, as you see I got a little a secondary 120 millimeter fan blown on it so you know that can only mean one thing uh, we're going to try to overclock this Duron but we did get some tests in on the way and you see we got it hooked my main PC, disregard all these this mess of cables everywhere, and uh, the only way I can get a screen capture to work and show on a monitor is I've I've actually been running everything. I've been using uh, OBS as my monitor, so there's a little bit of a of a lag. I mean, it's a bitch to try to play some things, but I mean it's been working out for the most part. So uh, yeah, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna uh, overclock this, and uh, I've got benchmark results for you know the, the few games that we ran before but we're going to overclock it and see how much better we can make this Duron. Okay so here we are going into BIOS to overclock the CPU. Uh, the multiplier is locked so we have to raise the front side bus to increase the frequency. Unfortunately voltage caps out at 1.7 volts on this motherboard or we could probably end up breaking 1 gigahertz. But we're going to stick with 900 megahertz for now and uh, with this combination we're going to be cpu bound big time anyways no matter what we do with it so we're just going to see if we can help it out a bit uh, once we set our bus and voltage we can just save and exit and there we go 900 megahertz we'll just get into windows here and make sure that it's stuck And there it is, shows 900 megahertz and HW monitor. So now we can go ahead and we can run our benchmarks again and see if we have any serious improvement.
somebody loses an eye. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm really the least silent assassin ever. So, overall, with the Duran holding us back, I was still able to enjoy some games on this little system. I'm definitely going to be looking for an Athlon XP upgrade for sure. And it's unfortunate that we really couldn't test the limit of the CPU. You know, we were hampered by the V-Core limit in the BIOS. But, you know what, it was fun despite that, so I really can't complain. And I'm just going to end this with some 3D Mark 2001. You guys take care, and I'll see you on the next one.